Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. So today is a really fun video. Whenever I go into the Dollar Tree, I always see that Crafter Square is full of vinyl. So they have tons of patterns and colors, anything that you would like. I've been seeing tons of this available at the Dollar Tree. I've heard horror stories about using it in cutting machines. I personally have never done that, but I know my mom uses it a lot and she said that it messes up her mat. So a lot of people were skipping it, but there's so much potential. There's so many other things that you can do with this vinyl and put it to really good use without a cutting machine. So this video is for everyone. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I am super excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Blissy. I'll tell you all about them a little bit later on as well as an incredible Mother's Day gift idea that you're going to want to order not only for your mom but for yourself too. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into crafting. I wanted to start off super simple. The easiest way you can use this is just by putting it down in these little tiny trays. So I picked up a couple of these trays from Crafter Square, painted them white, and then I started off with the gold, but the more that I looked at it, the more that it looks like super yellow gold, and I didn't like that. So I did swap it out for some silver, but just painting one of these trays, letting it completely dry, and then putting the silver down in the bottom. You could use this mini little tray for like kitchenwares or to put candles in here. I like the shiny for more of like a glam look so I just use this as a jewelry tray but so many more things you could do with this. I also love the black and white check pattern. I think it's really pretty, especially for like the kitchen whenever it's not like fall or winter um, because I don't use this pattern as much whenever it's like not time for seasonal crafts, but I do feel like it works well in a kitchen area. So I use the backing paper off of the first little tray as a guide to cut out this pattern. And then I'm using this little block just to kind of push it down into the corners, but decorated this with kind of more of like a farmhouse look. And as much as I love shopping at the Dollar Tree and crafting with Crafter Square items, I also love like nicer, higher quality pieces. So I picked up this huge tray from the thrift store, very inexpensive, just for a couple of bucks, painted it black and then put it on here and you get like such a bigger impact. I think this tray was literally two bucks, but I think it looks so pretty whenever you style it with some lighter white, like plain decor. Okay, so just because you don't have a cutting mat doesn't mean you still can't cut up and use this vinyl in different ways. I picked up some of the stencils from the Crafter Square and I tried to find pieces, like some of these leaves were in separate pieces, but I tried to find the stencils that were just one solid piece. Like this leaf, I thought it was so gorgeous and would go perfect with like boho decor. So I traced it with a pencil and then cutting this out. This was super easy and you're gonna get the same look without having the cutting machine. I repeated this until I had several leaves cut out and then you can place this around any type of planter or candle holder. For the first project, I did put it on this little planter. I feel like it really pops off of the white and you can just kind of space them out evenly and it really dresses up just a plain white plastic planter. I also thought this looked really neat on the outside of a jar. I kind of wrapped it around just any type of clear jar and then lit a candle in there and it lights up so beautifully, but so many ways that you can dress up just any plain jar. I also love to use a ruler to be able to cut out strips of the vinyl. And for this one, I'm just using a candle holder that I had sprayed down with some adhesive glue to give it kind of a textured look and then wrapping this around the bottom and something so simple can really dress Dress this up and make it go more with your style.
Another way to dress up a candle holder or an actual candle is by picking up a candle that has like an easy to remove label. I got that all off there and then using some of this really cute pink, I cut out a strip that would fit perfect um, on the candle in between the two grooves, but I wanted it to look a little bit nicer. So this would make a great Mother's Day gift idea or birthday gift idea. I took another one of the stencils, cut out this heart. This time I'm not tracing it. I'm just taking like an X-Acto knife or this is a Cricut knife and cutting around the flower. I'm able to pop it out. This is going to create a neat design with the negative space on top of this candle jar. I feel like it was really plain so I did cut out the middle of the flower that I cut out and that was perfect. It made it look more like a little flower on there but I love how this looks and like I mentioned a perfect gift idea. fun ways to use this vinyl so stay tuned for that but I wanted to take a second to thank Blissey for sponsoring today's video and tell you a little bit more about them. So if you've never heard of Blissey they offer silk pillowcases that give you better hair, better skin, and incredible sleep. This is a completely natural and hypoallergenic silk pillowcase designed by experts that does wonders for your overall health while you sleep. These pillowcases and accessories are 100% mulberry silk which is amazing quality and come in gorgeous packaging already ready to wrap and ready to go which makes it so fun to order for Mother's Day. So this would be an incredible gift idea to give to someone special but be sure to grab one for yourself if you start sleeping on a nice silk pillowcase you're not going to want to go back it makes a complete difference it is worth the investment and these pillowcases have over 60,000 five star reviews so they definitely sell their self everyone loves these these blissy pillowcases are temperature regulating so the fabric stays super cool to touch it makes you feel more refreshed of the mornings i really do think these are worth the hype i know it sounds silly but these pillowcases like truly make me excited to go to bed at nighttime. They're so like cooling and buttery soft and it just makes me feel like I'm staying in like a luxury hotel where they always have like the super nice sheets. You can go to blissy.com slash Caitlin to get 30% off of your order. You can go click the link down below and that is blissy, B-L-I-S-S-Y dot com slash Caitlin, K-A-T-E-L-Y-N and you can receive 30% off or click the link down below and the 30% off will be automatically added to your order. Thank you once again to Blissy for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel, but let's go ahead and jump back into some more DIYs. Okay, so I do not like painting these metal signs from the Dollar Tree. I just feel like the paint scratches off really easy no matter what type of paint you use. So let me know if there's a way that you paint these, um, but I feel like if it's spray paint, if it's chalk paint, if it's acrylic paint, everything scratches off of these. So you can actually use the vinyl to cover these metal signs to give them the pop of color or to cover them in any like pattern that you would like. But I do have to try to make it work on here. So I did have to take my scissors and kind of cut all the way around it. Um, and then I'm able to bend it over and this just completely covers like this little metal truck with this gorgeous turquoise blue color and it's something that's not going to scratch off very easily. And then I actually got to play around with different colors of vinyl. So I used the white to create a little window at the top and then trace some paint cans or little paint lids that I use like the Waverly chalk paint and cut some wheels out of black and just really keep adding the details to this. So it still looks pretty plain. I used a paint marker. It kind of does want to pull up if you use paint, so I would recommend using a Sharpie, but added some little lines here and there and kind of outlined it so it's really going to pop. And then I picked up um, this 
Hobby Lobby sign. It was in the clearance aisle for $1.99 and it was a pretty big size. So I'm going to flip the sign around backwards. I painted the outside to be like a frame, cut down a piece of burlap fabric. Um, I actually buy these burlap sheets from Hobby Lobby. They're so easy to work with and they don't like fray out really bad like if I would have just cut down fabric. But I hot glued this down and then going to add the little truck on top of the burlap and create a really cute spring sign. I like to mix different colors, kind of create like a little rainbow of colors and then cut something out and that gives it like a fun effect. So once again with the hack of using my ruler, I'm going to be using that as a guide to get different colored strips out of this vinyl. So using my Cricut knife or X-Acto knife would work or any type of utility knife, I cut on both sides of the ruler and I am left with these perfect little strips. And then I'm going to actually place them down on some freezer paper. So you could use wax paper, anything that kind of has like a shiny, like a really shiny finish. Um, it's going to be able to pull up really easily. So just kind of layering these just a little bit, maybe by a fourth of an inch or so, and getting them to become one piece so then I can cut out something fun and it'll have this rainbow look. And then just to cut out like a really fun heart, I'm using a wooden heart that I already had on hand, tracing around it with my knife, and then I can put this inside of a frame. I went ahead and added a bow to this and I just gave it to my daughter. She loved it in her room. She has a lot of shelves in there to decorate with and I love how this is just like on glass so it's kind of like a floating frame but looks really cute styled in her room. Okay, so I've been sharing with you how to cut out like strips and different shapes and how to like apply vinyl to different things. But I've been skipping on the letters and you still can cut out letters using this type of vinyl without a cutting machine. I got on the computer, I always use Word and printed out the word love. So I did know that like if you were cutting on a Cricut, you would need to mirror the image to get the letters to be right. So on this, um, I didn't want the letters to be backwards, so I did put them face down on the letters that it would matter on some of them it didn't on like the o but i did um go ahead and put them face down and i was able to kind of trace around them and create some really fun letters that i could put on different items like this crate that i use for my crafting supplies but also um, i'm cutting out some more letters a little bit later to put on some organizing things There are so many items that you can customize at Dollar Tree, like these little hand pumps. I just put an S on there for soap. I'm gonna cut out another L to make like a lotion one, but just wanted to quickly share with you how to do it, but um, an easy way to get out little letters or anything that you wanna write. And this is for my other organizer, just kind of doing the same thing, putting the letters face down, cutting them out and applying them to like a large tub. Thank you all so much for watching. A huge thank you to Blissy for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to go check out blissy.com slash Caitlin to receive 30% off of your order. A Mother's Day gift that everyone is going to absolutely love. Grab one for yourself. Let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.